So that's our dinghy. Um, yeah. Thank God we just noticed that. We were having a nice, easy sail back over to Port Louis Anchorage after what was an awful night at Anchor in Prickly Bay. I'm talking zero sleep when this happened. We're coming for you. We're coming. Stay put. Mom and dad are on the way. This D-ring, where both of the lines were tied off to, broke right off the dinghy while we were underway. Thankfully, we were in calm seas. I feel like we're practicing man overboard right now. No big deal. Favor? Yeah. Yep. It was a little chaotic for a second there, but basically Tanner used a boat hook to grab at the dinghy before getting into it and tying a line to the big boat. The Coast Guard happened to be around, so they checked on us over the radio, and our little problem child made it back to the bay with us. I would give you a little insight, a little background into our life, our current life right now. This week was a tough one and we've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys that you'd like to see some of the lows, not just the highlights of our, you know, sailing journey. And it's tough to do it sometimes, at least for us it is. For example, if we're having a really bad night and the anchorage is extremely rolly and it's hot and we're uncomfortable, I'll go to grab the camera and I'll try to show you a little bit of that. And it feels very unnatural to me when I listen back or look back at the content. It looks extremely unnatural and it feels like I'm whining and it's not something that I'm comfortable with yet. Of course, you know, we ha you have to vent and we seem to like to do that behind closed doors. It would be completely misleading if you thought that we just had fun and explored islands every day and, you know, traveled around the world without any difficult, uncomfortable, bad scenarios thrown our way. It's extremely hot here in Grenada. Tanner and I don't have the power and we don't have a lot of resources on our boat to make things more comfortable for us. The other night, I was almost on the verge of tears because I was just so overheating. I mean, it was extremely, extremely hot. You'll wake up in a pool of your own sweat. We don't have the right fans. This is my little crappy fan. When we go back to the States, we'll hopefully be able to 
get our life together a bit. But for now, we're kind of roughing it. That being said, what happened with the dinghy yesterday was nerve wracking. It was still kind of funny, to be honest. And we have some errands to run for that so that that doesn't happen again. But it's a 27 year old dinghy, you know, I mean, things, things are gonna break. We have been kind of in a funk from what you can kind of tell already. We're gonna just get in the water, snorkel, go to the beach, see some friends. Then we will let the hard work that is ahead of us begin. But it is very important for our mental state that we have some relaxing days. Let's go have some fun. My chariot awaits. When we take a look at our analytics, we notice that the majority of our viewers are still not subscribed to our channel. If we could ask this small favor to just hit that subscribe button, we can't tell you how much it helps us grow. We are working tirelessly each week to deliver better and better videos for you to watch. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. We towed our dinghy around with us because we were drift diving, where instead of fighting the current, we rolled with it. In case we were pushed too far out, we would still have our trusty ride. Not to mention she apparently needs to be babysat these days. <laughs> I absolutely promise you will live in the ocean. You don't go to it. No, no, this no, is no. so cool. Mom and Dad, look at no, where I am. <laughs> look at what I'm doing. This is so it's huge. Easy. It's bigger than you. Very beautiful. I'm kind of wanting to have water again. Sergi? I'm coming in the water. Yeah. How many passes it go? Oh, his legs are sticking out really far. He's Jack, like, please flip them over. See all those little things sticking out? Look yeah, at they're right here. They're beautiful. You but see I think he wants to grab it. He wants, he wants to move. He wants to get back in the water. Yeah, he wants to walk around the surface. He's alive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We need to head into customs to renew our cruising permit. Hasn't expired yet, but by the time we get back from our trip, it's gonna expire. So we want to make sure it's extended through the time that we're gonna be gone. 
and we're gonna go to the marine store and pick up the part for the dinghy so we can get it fixed at least until haul out so I can permanently install it. I'm gonna get a new D-ring and just put it in there and bolt it down with a little thread locker until I can get hauled out and then we'll put 5200 in there so it has enough time to cure because right now it's just sitting in the water and I don't have time to pull the dinghy out. So we get that done, run some errands, and enjoy your day. Hopefully sturdier. Find out. <laughs> Only one way to find out. It doesn't leave our big boat again. Right. So this part was um, 32 US for this little thing. Just to replace this thing. Quite expensive. But um, this one's watertight so I shouldn't need to put any 5200 on it or anything so it should be good to go. It's got this little black piece. Um, just put some Loctite on it and it should be solid. Next stop, Customs. Good to go. We just extended for another month. Um, we can't do anything about extending it when we get back. We don't need to do anything when it's on the hard we don't need a cruising permit, so we're good to go there, which when we get back, we need to renew it or get a new one, and then we'll be good to go. But what happened was we thought we had originally had our cruising permit for three months, and it turns out we were supposed to come back in a month later, so we're late, so they were very gracious. We're late lovely. by like a month, yeah, almost, we're, mm -hmm. um, but they were nice about it. Yes, could have gone And we just worse. paid, and we're good to go. Yeah, we got all squared away, and then since we're physically leaving the country and going back to our own country, we don't have to get a visa or anything, so that'll be nice. Yeah, we can just, our 90 days renews when we get back, so we're good to go back. So we're safe, we're legal. Look at us following the rules. much as we could this is too short so we need the longer one but we don't have an extension for the little quarter inch one so we have to use a half inch and this ridiculous ridiculous extension in order to be able to crank it so see how this works ridiculous and there's thread locker everywhere I'm gonna clean it up it's just hard because it's splashing water in so it is what it is we're here okay. in case you're wondering there is a extension two extension three extension four extension works let's test it out
No leaks. We're good.